Hey everybody, Matamatoten here, and I just gave you a little sneak peek, but uh, it is another mod showcase that I am coming in with. And today's mod, er, well, the third mod of today, is the Carpenter Blocks mod. And this is one of my favorite mods of all time because it adds so much useful things into the game. And what it is, is all of these. It adds Carpenter's Blocks. And the way the mod works, here, here we go. So. You craft a carpenter's block. Let me see if I can find the specific one. There it is. So you can put eight sticks around a single wood plank. Only it has to be oak wood, it looks like, but it might be different. Um, and you get five carpenter's blocks. And I'm going to show all, I'm going to go through all the crafting recipes right now so that I don't have to go through them as we go. So carpenter's collapsible block, that's the ones that can actually fall, like sand. A daylight sensor. Ladders, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, a safe is crafted similarly to a piston, although it uses a block of iron. Uh, stairs, normal. The hammer, which is very important. Uh, did that only go down? Yes, okay. The carpenter block itself. The garage door, that's really cool. Love the garage doors. Um, a slope, so it's like a ramp. A flower pot, a tile, a hatch, door, bed, fence gate, fence, pressure plate, torch, chisel, you need that, a button, a lever, and more torches, but the charcoal version. So I'm going to go through all these and just explain what they do. And I'm going to use... Um, sponges as my example, although there are other items that I'm going to need, so I'm just going to put all these in my uh, inventory there, and then go back and grab some more. So I stopped at the garage door, hatch, ah, I didn't get the lever, safe, and wedge slope, so where did I stop? I'm going to need the oblique interior, okay, slowly going through all these, making sure I get every one of them. Uh, I need this interior slope, I need the exterior slope, I need the prism slope, which I think looks really weird. Prism wedge slope, I have no idea what that's going to look like, because it looks exactly like this. Uh, stairs, and torch, bed, I just need the door and the tile. I'm not sure what the tile does, though. I do not know what it does. Can I place it? Oh, I can place it. Oh, so it's just like flooring. Okay. Anyways, so the first, I'm just going to go right through all this, but I'm actually going to need other items. You need seeds. You don't need them, but they're very cool. They have little uh, effects. Uh, I need snowball. I need string. And I need vines. Now, these are, they have some interesting effects. I'm actually going to give myself a stack of each one. Um, so, let me just get all this done. Ah, crap. Whatever, it's fine. Alright, there we go. So now we can get onto the mod. So I'm going to do the mode zero. So with the garage doors, I'm going to give some more to myself. Uh, 179, let's give myself five more. So if I place them, can I... What? How do I place these? Do I need... Oh, you know what? I probably need to place them on a block. Sorry, I'm very bad at this. Iron, block, 64 will do. Um, I believe it has to be like this. I'm not positive, because I have not tested this. I've used this mod before, but I, it's been a long time. Yes, you need to place them like that, and they will actually stretch down as far as they need to. So if I place one at the top of the world, it will just stretch all the way down here. And you can design it from whatever block you have and it camouflages as that block and if you shift right click it it actually gives it a cobweb design on it or a vine design or snowball design wheat it puts a little hay bale and this will be grass and it's openable just by right clicking one of them everything else opens although since it's that tall I can't go through it right now that's the garage 
Um, so I'm just going to throw the other three down there, and we're going to move on to the flower pot. The flower pot works the same way. I can put, I can give it a little vine design. It's very hard to see, but you can see it there. I can give it a cobweb design. Oh no, I can't because I already did that. Uh, iron block, and it uh, looks like an iron block, and you can actually see the vine design is inside the flower pot, which is really cool. Uh, we got a daylight sensor, which works as anything else would. So I'm going to put a grass design around the edges and you can see that it's very cool or design it like an iron block and it goes under the grass so it's very very hard to see but you can see it there and if I were to break it up oh, crap um, yeah, you know I'll do that the hammer and the chisel are very interesting things I'll get to those at the end though I'm just gonna place everything for now so the carpenter's collapsible block is just I'm actually not sure what it does I thought that would fall like a normal block it looks like it's more solid than a normal block, though. I'm not sure. I'll have to get into that. It's very weird how it... Oh! That's very weird. Normally, when you place it like that, it'll be a little slope. Or if I place it just like this, place it looking down. It looks like it's placing in whatever direction I'm looking in. Like, the slope will be like that. I don't know. That's very weird. If I keep placing it far away like this, it points that way. If I place it far away like this, it's flat. Place it far away like this, it's flat. It seems to be pointing towards the nearest structure. If it's close enough. Yeah, it's got a very slight slope there. Hold on, what's the ID for this thing? 169. Eight more. Now this is very interesting. It looks like a little skate park kind of thing. I did not know about this, but this is very, very cool. It's got a weird slowly building up slope. And once again, you can design it with whatever. And you can change what it looks like. Oh, look at that. You can actually build it up to look a little different. So, as you can see, I made it look very weird there. Uh, the chisel has actually no effect on these blocks. But certain other ones do. Moving on, we got the carpenter's button. Very simple. It'll open and close the garage door, because why not? Uh, I'll put a little grass design on it. And you can see the grass. And I'll put an iron block inside of it. And there you go. You can see the iron below it. Uh, I really like that. I really like the grass design. Barrier is simply a fence, and I will connect the gate to it. I'll put a... Uh, let's go with a wheat design on these. And then iron block. So I, I really like how you can just design anything. And this works with any mod block as well. Any block from any mod, it'll do this. Uh, next, the normal carpenter's block, self-explanatory. It can be designed a little differently. As you can see, now it's like a wall slab. Um and you can just yeah see it's going down now or if I do like this like this and I believe if I get below it um, I gotta be below it or more maybe even one more ah, it's not working whatever so that's the carpenter block. I'm just gonna do that. Uh, we got the carpenter's wedge slope, the normal one. I don't know what that was, but I really liked that. Um, the hammer turns it into all different types of slopes, and it just goes crazy. It actually turned into a full carpenter's block there for a second. Um, yeah, it's very interesting. Um, that looks really cool. Everything. Um, no matter what kind of block is inside of it, is broken with an axe. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. Uh, I take that back. used to be. And obviously, if I use the hammer on it, it'll turn into one of the many designs. And you can actually use a chisel to give it different designs. You can see, like that, that's pretty obvious. You can uh, give it any different type of design. Um, yes, it works on the fence gate as well. And the fence. The daylight sensor, but it's very hard to notice. The flower pot, again, very hard to notice. 
the um, garage doors. It doesn't work on these. Uh, oh, it does work on this one. It's not working on these lower ones though. Um, so yeah, I like that. Excuse me, I'm a little sick, but I'm trying to do this, and I like the creeper face too. The carpenter's safe is like a chest. I can store whatever I want to store inside of it. And I can also design it. Once again, it can be designed anyway. Uh, this uh, items can be extracted only. Oh, so you can change how it works. <laughs> so you can only put things in or you can only remove things and or both. Safe unlocked, safe locked. So now it's locked for everyone else or I can unlock it and everyone else is able to use it, so I'm going to lock that. And I believe the chisel... I believe if you do it a certain amount of times, it just makes it a solid block. Oh no, that's only for the door. We'll get to that. Pressure plate. Very simple. I'll put that over by the garage door so it actually does something. Or no, right here, by the fence gate. I'll give it a uh, wheat design and it actually just looks like a solid hay bale. I don't even, excuse me, I don't even need to design it like a... Uh, iron block because you can see it's just wheat. Lever. Iron block lever. Pretty neat. I don't like how the, the part that the actual lever part itself, I don't like how that's not designed by anything. Uh, you can only design it with... yeah I don't like that but that's what it does. Next we've got the carpenter's ladder. I like this. What is this? Oh, it's enemies. Oh, right. Um, put this in peaceful. Okay. So you can climb up the ladder, and it's very a lot thicker and a very different texture than normal. Uh, I like to put uh, seeds on this, and then a block of iron, because that looks really nice. Looks like you're actually walking on little thin layers of grass. Next, we've got the hatch. It's just a trap door, but it's solid. Can you design it? Yes, you can. You can put glass, bars, windows, a little carving around the center, or completely solid and invisible. So if I was like that, you'd never know it was there. You could just walk up to a random block, right click it, and boom, you get a hidden thing. I believe you can do this to the ladder too, yes. Uh, it's invisible except for the grass texture. Um, chisel can add the designs to it obviously same thing with the hatch although I don't think you'd want to do that because then it becomes visible the bed is really cool um, uh, 2 let's go 14 what color dye is that orange wow that's my favorite color alright so we will do the prism slope, which we had earlier when we were banging that thing with a hammer. Yeah, you can get that again by just hitting it multiple times. So you wouldn't really need to craft it. Yeah, it turns back into a wedge slope. So don't break that, I guess. But it's the same way. Oblique interior slope. So this is like climbing up it diagonally. Uh, yep, can make it look a little rustic. The torch, I like this. Uh, put a snow design on the torch. Make oh, that would be good for different biomes. You know, put it in a jungle. You get the uh, vines. Uh, maybe a cave. You could do strings. Uh, this for a taiga biome. This for probably a plains, I'd say. And this for like forests. Um, all right, the bed. I really the bed has a lot of different interesting things about it. So as usual, you can put it whatever block you want inside of it. But with the dye, you can dye the. Uh, the blanket and then the back part of it but if you hit it with the oh it appears as though I don't have any of the textures it must be uh, something wrong with this here well I don't have any of the textures for that for some reason and, oh I can sleep okay that's a little weird um, I don't know why it's doing that uh, the oblique I'm butchering these words interior slope which is the same thing, it's just the reverse of that. You can walk up it the same way. Makes it kind of look like wool when you put the string on it. Only for iron blocks. Uh, then you got the normal stairs. You know. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Uh, we've got the prism wedge slope, I believe that's the same thing. Oh no, it's got the little uh, thing sticking out at the bottom, if you can see that. Um, you can see it now a lot better. It's got the little thing sticking out at the bottom. You can still walk up it the same. Um, now you can see it even better like this. Um, we only got two things left. The door is actually probably the most interesting part of this. So let me just put this right here. So, first of all, you can design it with any block. I'm actually going to use a very, uh, why not use sponges? It's a cheese door. So, open it normally. If you shift right click with it, it can only be opened with redstone like an iron door. Um, now the chisel. Uh, oh no, hold on, the hammer first. You can do all different designs to it. This is my favorite one because it's completely solid. You don't know it's there at all. So if I were to place um, you can see it from the inside but completely unsuspecting whatsoever. Um, you can give it designs as usual. I'll give it a snowball design. Might as well. But the hammer has more designs for it. No it doesn't. Chisel as usual, can design the edges of it however you'd like. Uh, and then the tiles. I will give myself, give me 4098, will give me 8 more so I can make a little 3x3 three three platform. I could, just couldn't even pronounce that word at all. The hammer gives it different designs. Does the chisel do anything? It does not. So you can use that design, this design, this design, this design. I like this design. Um, this is very weird looking. Uh, it looks like a dance floor almost. Uh, the same as the first one, but diagonal. Um, Alright, let's see what else we got. That design, that design, that, this. Hold on. I really like this design and then back to the first one. So that would be really useful for decorating your home, but at that, that is the, uh, that's the entire mod. Um, it's very good for, like, you know, just decoration or hidden doors or whatever. As you can see, all this looks really cool, really weird. Uh, I'm going to have to definitely look more into these things, because I have no clue. What, what, what? Oh, you can hammer it back down. So you can, uh, I really don't know what this is doing, but I like it. So it looks like you can hammer it. Oh, so the edge, yeah. I can bring that back up. Bring it up like a solid wall, I guess. Like I said, that's the end of the video, so leave a like if you enjoyed it, please. I try hard for this stuff, and the thing just came out of it somehow. But, um, yes, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.